if you are uh, just seeing my face for the first first time my name is Oye Oye Layo, and this is coming to you from the vision guide and this is parenting essentials another arm from the vision guide and today I am going to be talking about dealing with stress uh, stress Flossy Mary thank you for joining Otto Gilly Asha okay Thank you for joining me today. God bless you. God bless you from Instagram. Thank you, everyone. So today we're talking about dealing with stress. I am going to be talking about parent dealing with stress. And I'm going to be talking about some other aspect that we are not very sensitive about. That is, we as parents stressing our children. I know it might sound funny today, but today we are going to talk about it. We need to have another big self check. So to start with. We all know the word stress. You know, the word stress is like, oh, it's, it's like a big deal. But one thing I've come to realize is stress is part of life. We can't avoid stress. In fact, for our nervous system to function very well, for us to stay healthy, we cannot take stress out of life. But what we are talking about today is overwhelming stress. When stress is being overwhelmed, nobody wants that. We don't want to deal with an overwhelming stress. But for to have a good health, for our nervous system to be normal, we can't say, no, I don't want anything to be stressed. We just want to be in bed all day. Even with that, you can't stay healthy. Feisha, you're okay day. Thank you for joining me. God bless you. God bless you, everyone, for joining. God bless you. So we can't say, oh, in my life, I don't want stress. If you don't want stress, it means it's just like a state of coma. So, and that is not possible. You can't stay healthy. But what we are talking about is overwhelming stress. Hello, Mrs. Shomade. I can cite you there. Thank you for joining. This is Lola. No more. Thank you for joining me. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, everyone. Thank you. Is it test? Thank you for joining me on Instagram. God bless you. I appreciate. And today we are talking about dealing with stress. Dealing with stress we say stress is a i i put in my by saying uh, a state of mental or emotional strain or tension resulting for demand from demanding circumstances we have things that are demanding in our lives and this we can't take out of life life itself is demanding parenting itself is demanding even being a wife is demanding so as I said stress cannot be taken out of life but we are talking about dealing with overwhelming stress for you to stay healthy for your nervous system to be intact for you to be to function normally as human being you can't take out stress but what we are dealing with today is overwhelming stress nobody want that we don't want to be overwhelmed in life we don't want to just be in stress a day low or Sunday a day with me thank you for joining we don't want overwhelming stress. As much as we believe stress is important for, for us to stay healthy, we do not want overwhelming stress. So what are the ways that we can avoid stress as a mother or as a wife or as a lady? I know one, one thing, but one thing that everybody is sure about that I know you know is calling a friend. This is going to help you a lot. When you are overwhelmed with stress, maybe as a wife or as a parent, or you have a challenging child and you know within yourself that you are overstressed you have been overwhelmed you are stressed the first thing and most common thing that people know and familiar with is call a friend even talking to your friend who is understandable who is who is with you along the line who understands what you're going through it's going to ease your stress somebody who can give you reassurance Somebody who, who, is, who can stand with you in that trials, in that challenging and that challenging time and can say, no, I understand how you feel. And but things is going to be all right. But one thing I want you to know is we cannot always call a friend. We cannot always call a friend. Maybe friend will not always be there. So what is the best way that you can deal with stress? How can you deal with an overwhelming stress is by you exploring your emotions by putting your sensory in action I've, I've, I've said about breathing over and again and we cannot overemphasize the word breathe take a deep breath 
taking a deep breath we have said that over and again and this is a great method for you to ease your stress maybe you want to even carry your child and you're so tired i like am i going to drop this child just take a moment don't go ahead freeze and just relax and take a very deep breath and let it go trust me it works like magic it's going to ease your stress even though it might not take that stress away but for that moment for that moment it's going to refresh you it's going to strengthen you and it's you'll feel at ease so this is a method I'm going to recommend for you over and again taking a deep breath taking a deep breath through your nervous system stress can be reduced or controlled through our sensory experience when we talk about sensory experience it's just every part of our sensory like what you smell what you taste what you see what you listen to what you feel and even in your movements these things can ease your stress for some people when they are really really tired then they are already overwhelmed one particular music is going to ease the stress it's still about our sensory need that when you listen to that song it's going to help you a lot and it's going to ease that stress for some people it's just feeling a soft toy it's not about children only i want you to understand something today that we all have sensory need every human being has sensory need it's just for us to discover it and be able to take action we all have that sensory thing that can give us calmness most of us we don't take time to discover it thank you Dicky Noma. thank you for joining me sir god bless you we just need to take time to discover it what part of my sensory need is going to help me to calm my nerves to calm my stress not for me to be overwhelmed is it listening to music is it the movie i'm going to watch is it what i smell for some people it's so therapeutic for them to just smell flower for them to just smell nice perfume it's so therapeutic this thing can be so therapeutic even feelings maybe a paper some some people just to hear the sound of a paper but sometimes we don't pay attention to these things we think oh when they talk about these things it's just for children on the spectrum hmm? i said that and i'm going to say it again somehow we all find ourselves somewhere somehow we all have sensory need. Searching for it and taking use, uh, taking advantage of it is key. And when we are talking about stress, it's going to be the life-saving method for you. Ensure you find out. Some adults, even till now, when you see them cuddling they maybe a teddy bear or any soft toy, you think they are not normal, right? You feel like, that's, no, that's so weird. An adult cuddling uh, a soft toy. But for that person at that time, it's so therapeutic. It's healing. That person is okay. Don't forget that your life is your life. The way you are going to overcome your stress after being overwhelmed is not going to be the same to another person. You are you. So don't always judge your life or your being by what you see around or what you hear from people say is normal. The word normal for you might not be normal for another person. I think I see my mama there. Mommy, a kid today. Thank you, my mom, for joining me today. God bless you. I've talked about her several times. Many of you have heard me say about my mom who waited for 24 years and the baby is doing great. Yes, she is. I'm very glad she's joining me today. Mommy, thank you so much for joining. I'm so pleased seeing you on my live chat. Seeing you on my live chat is a big deal for me. Thank you so much, mommy. God bless you. God bless you. Your little guy is dre here. Thank you very much, mommy. I appreciate you. I love you always. You know that. All right. We're talking about stress, dealing with an overwhelming stress. And I'm talking about knowing your sensory need, your sensory experiences, how your sensory experiences can help you overcome stress, overwhelming stress. You just need to find out, discover that. The only method a lot of people use is calling a friend. And I've said before, and I'm saying it again, you cannot always call a friend. 
you cannot always call a friend the earlier you realize what experience you're going to have in your sensory that is going to calm you the better for you it's going to better it's going to be better for you is it listening to that music is it watching that calm video is it calling it a uh, soft toy what else is it what you feel is it movement even walking exercising it's part of your sensory experience when you jog around it's part of it's part of your sensory experience love you too mommy it's part of your sensory experience so today i don't want to dwell much on this part of you dealing with an overwhelming stress as parent we are hard at and most of the time somehow we know how to help ourselves out of the stress but my main point today is oh stressing your child parents stressing their child yes they say oh yeah you have come again ah yes these are things that we don't pay attention to how do you know as a parent that you are stressing your own child and these are the points i'm going to be dropping today then we call it a day today we are going to be very quick and be time conscious i am going to be talking about what are the things that you do or how can you know as a parent that you are stressing your child it's easy very easy for an adult to know when you're overwhelmed when you're very stressed you know as an adult but for children sometimes they can't really express mommy i'm stressed and most of the time when children are stressed most of this stress is coming from you as a parent and because we don't pay attention to these things we feel oh uh -uh. hey is it not my child hey i'm talking to you i'm training you and all this because in the name of our positive parenting skills we are stressing them out and these are the things i want to be underlining today for us to know when you see these things for you to know self-check don't forget we've spoken about self-check over and again self-check i am i stressing my child yes sister bella very true this is what many parents are facing out there yes true true but you know for an adult somehow i just believe for an adult we can always find a way out of situation but for children sometimes they don't even they lack the word to express what how they are feeling so then that is why i've said today i'm going to underline these things don't forget for an adult we know all your sense we know all our sensory parts right discover which one is going to what sensory experience are you going to have that is going to calm you from overwhelming stress so we really need to identify we need to learn to identify and respond to stress how can we learn how can we identify and respond to this thing is our job so today i'm just going to go quickly to a few points that i put down for you to know that you are stressing your child or children as a parent meal for real thank you for joining on instagram oj one god's own thank you for joining once again easy test thank you for joining me god bless you god bless you god bless you let me give you a wave all thank you for joining number one thing for you to know sister toin thank you for joining me again today god bless you my sister god bless you so number one thing for you to know how one of the ways that you can know that as a parent i'm really stressing my child is i said if your child feels nervous anytime he or she sees you for no reason you can't explain it but any child anytime your child sets is our eyes on you you can see that your child is so nervous so it's time for you to have a self check as parents know that the child is stressing up see those things that the children call stress is what you feel is normal maybe the way you, maybe the way you pass across the information maybe in your direction maybe in your communication maybe it's not clear enough maybe you are coming too strong maybe you might be coming too soft and unknowingly to you your child is building up stress and anytime your child set the eyes on you he or she is so nervous you can't just explain just what is wrong with you why are you shaking i'm just talking to you so there is something you have to check quickly don't forget daily self-check is key why would the child be nervous seeing the parents then you have to know that the stress is coming from you please let us check 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 it can it that can be anything it can be anything so we really have to discover see i can't say it's a particular thing 
it can be things that you it can be something that your mind is not even into at all so it takes you being sensitive and paying attention to details before you can know which area am i stressing my child that is causing this nervousness and it takes your intentionality for you to be able to even see that your child is nervous for no reason at that moment to you is no reason but for the child it's a lot of for, for so many reasons that you might not know so let's let's start, let's try to find out these things watch up Evan. thank you for joining me on instagram god bless you god bless you if your child is nervous around you for no reasons please for no reason please try and find out why is my child stressing up please you can always drop your question drop your concern drop your contribution and i'll read it out with a contribution if it's a question i'll try as much as i can to answer you and if you have uh, something that is related to what i'm saying just go ahead please let's learn together drop your points what have you noticed before what are the things that you feel is might cause stress to children it might not be your child but what have you seen in your experience in the past you know whatever you've seen just go ahead and drop your comment and i'm going to i appreciate that a lot and i'll read it out for people to also learn from that number two the second thing i put down i said if your child avoids you as much as possible that child doesn't just want to stay with you your child doesn't want to spend time with you can we just go here together no mommy can we play ball together daddy i don't want to play with you this is another red flag that you have to look out for your child is never interested in spending time with you your child wants to avoid you as much as you can but to you you know sometimes you are not sensitive at all and you feel like oh i've done my job well i'm an i'm, a, I'm an authority you feel he's been an authority that's why your child doesn't want to spend time with you no far from it you feel because oh okay i've raised my child well my child is not rude and that's why my child doesn't want to spend time with me wake up mommy and daddy it's not true if always your child is avoiding you it is not a sign of you being an authority don't forget i've said that over and again that you have to be an authority and you have to be your child's best friend knowing how to balance the two and having boundaries is key be your child's best friend yet your child is going to understand mommy's sticking right now and i have to follow through and don't mix it up we said we don't want a child that will not ask why or how it is okay for your child to ask questions in this generation we cannot afford children that will not ask questions we said that was how we were raised and it's totally unacceptable in our generation children must understand why things are like this but if you are still the type that your child is always trying to avoid you then you need a self-check thank you pastor rachel for joining me sure i thank you for joining me i can see you right there that is my secondary school friend where have you been good to see you shuahib god bless you so we have to understand these things being a parent an authority friend and everything does not mean your child must avoid you don't be that father that when your child hears the horn of the car your child wants to disappear or break the ground and enter that is here my problem has come it doesn't work in this generation at that moment note that you are already stressing your child please let's work on ourselves daily check is key nobody is a master of all i said it over and again that i'm not teaching this because i know all but because for everyone to learn together for us to get better daily it takes a lot of intentionality determination to be a positive parent don't forget you have to have the vision what sort of children do i want to raise the vision must be clear is this vision that will carry you throughout the journey of parenting don't wait don't wait don't wait don't wait check 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 instead of you worrying yourself have you married there's no kids why not learn about how you're going to raise those children when they are here no child now praise god for you but they are coming 
So when the child is here, how are you going to be intentional in your parenting? Spend your energy. Use your energy on something that is positive. Worry less. Surely light will be behind the tunnel. See, the way I was very glad when I saw my mama the other time. And I've used her as over and again in many of my lectures. She waited for 25 years. And if there's something I learned throughout her journey, is her faith. Her faith is strong. She was, I was like, there was a day that we met in Dubai. We were in the hotel room and mom was telling me that, her oh, Esther, my bimo, I'm going to have a child. Me and God, we have settled it. She might not even remember the statement. I hope she was still there, mommy. I was like, what a faith. And after I threw it all, 25 years, uh, 24 years, the baby is growing, doing fantastic. And in all this waiting period, mommy is the mother of all. Everybody's mommy. Everybody's mommy. So what are you doing with your time? What are you doing with your time? Are you just crying away that even if those children comes now, you cannot even be sensitive. You don't even know what parenting entails. Some people don't even know how to change diaper. So if you don't even know how to change diaper, how can you be sensitive when your child is stressed? It's not enough to cry. It is not enough to pray. How ready are we as parents? How ready are you? How ready are you? So let me go ahead because I said today I am not going to speak much. And time is fast spent. I don't want to repeat myself over and again today. Love is good, but love is not enough. You fell in love with that guy. You fell in love with that lady. You got married. After marriage, what next? You have the baby, but you are clueless about raising a very sensible child. Guy, guy, girl, girl. It's not enough. What do you know about parenting? What do you even know about the marriage you entered? It is key, very important. Don't forget that the knowledge you don't know, what you don't understand, you can't teach. You can't pass your growth. And your child, your mirror. You modeling what you want to see in the life of your children is key. I don't want to go off key today. That's not my point of the day. My point is how can you know when you are stressing your child or when you're stressing your children? First, I've mentioned when you, your child just feels nervous. Anytime he or she sees you just nervous i also mentioned your child tries to avoid you as much as possible i don't just want to be with mommy i don't want to be with daddy you know sometimes this happens when your child you know they, they build, you have to build trust it might be something that you don't count you think is a joke if your child is calling you maybe you have guests or the siblings are there or family members and say mommy i want to see you and the child speak to you privately you have no right to come and say that thing publicly it might sound funny to you but at that moment for your child to call you aside it means a lot for the child you have to understand child psychology it might be something funny i don't want to cite any example but at that moment they're like is that why you call me can you hear what she said <laughs> no it's not a good parenting. Wake up, mommy. No. Respect that child. It sounds funny to you. You feel every other person will laugh about it. But at that moment, it's very important to that child. That can make your child avoid you forever. You have already break the trust. It can even be about their panties. And mommy, what is this? And you're just laughing. Can you see? <laughs> it can be something that you feel is nothing. It can be something that you feel like it's just a joke. You can laugh about it. You can't laugh about it because that is about the child's life. Please, let's be sensitive. Let's be very sensitive about those things. I'll go to my next point. If your child cannot concentrate around you. If your child cannot concentrate around you. You are stressing your child. Self check mommy and daddy. Find out why. Once you are there, your child cannot even do a mathematics and be okay. Two plus two, 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 two plus, plus. You are not even talking to the child. But because you are there, principality and power, the child is already shaking and panting. One, 
one one because mommy is there say check yourself it means you have made that child feel like you are worthless you don't know it you might have said some things that you don't count you think you are being strong you want to help your child it doesn't work like that in this generation wake up mommy and daddy your child cannot concentrate because you are there you are stressing the child you might have said are you the only one why are you not getting the point every time you are very dull i want you to be good see in, in the name of we want to give our children the best we have made some mistakes and we are saying this so that we can have our daily check and fix it we need to fix it the church will be able to say ah uh, okay i'm not sure mommy what is this can you please help that does not mean you have to scream strong and shout i taught you yesterday what nonsense wow eat the head our assimilation rate is not the same don't forget we have said again and again every child is unique in their own way look for your child's strength rather than you dwelling on your child's weakness my child cannot my child cannot my child cannot mommy stop daddy stop that go for what are the things my child can do everybody is reading all my child is doing is jumping around the house mommy praise god that's good get a trampoline Put your child in gymnastics. Take advantage of that thing that you feel is a negative effect. Use it right. Everyone is singing. My child would not even move close to music. He doesn't have to. She doesn't have to. Search the strength. Must you draw around the house? Everywhere is messy. That's your child's strength. Grab it. If your child is drawing around the house, get a paper. Like parchment paper and everywhere. Don't worry about what people say. Stick the wall. Let your child draw. Explain. Don't draw here. Do it. Just do it. Join the child and let the child feel I'm together with you. I understand how you feel. Make it a family game. Buy markers. Do it. So once in a while, make games. Put videos on YouTube and let's see who is going to be the best artist. You are encouraging your child and you are reassuring your child we are in this together. For you, you are upset because your child loves to play toys. Every time is just a kind of role play, playing with car, you know, uh, doing a kind of uh, napping and saying, ah, the bus is going and up the hill and down. And the driver is going like, what is this? Can you stop making this noise every time? No, get a camera, record that child. That is big strength. Buy more toys. Let your child act them out. In napping is money. Let your child do the role play. Join in. You be part of the character while your child is the lead character. Not because your own, your friend's child loves mathematics and is English. Tomorrow is literacy and in the house they are always talking. Don't get me wrong. Don't get it twisted. Education is good. Education is good. I don't, I don't even want to say education is key. Education is good. Let's just take it like that. But it's not enough. It's not enough. Taking advantages of your child's strength is key. Everybody is sleeping. All you can do is just to be humming around the house. No, 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 no. Why not take your child to music school? Why are you stressed about it? Why are you stressing your child? That is a strength. Take advantage. I think my time is up. Oh, oh. Okay, I'll just drop one more point. And I don't think I have any question. If you have a question, please go ahead and drop your question. Go ahead and drop your question. And I'm going to try as much as I can to handle it. Omolara Olusoya, thank you, sis, for joining. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Any question you have, just go ahead, Mrs. Johnson. Thank you for joining. Mr. Award, if you declare, thank you for joining me today. God bless you. And on Instagram, uh, Augusta, thank you for joining my sister. God bless you. God bless you. So pleased to see you today. Blessing. Ukachuku, thank you for joining me today. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. If you have any question on Instagram, just go ahead and drop it. You have contributions, concerns. I will go ahead and read it out. We are going to be uh, done now. Who is this? Well done. 
Thank you, mommy. God bless you, mommy. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for your prayers, mommy. Okay, today I love you so much, mommy. God bless you. All right, I'm just going to drop one more point and we're going to call it a day. So the last point that I put in, I said, when your child worries about what you will say, your child cannot even trust you. This is part of what I've said already. Your child worries a lot. If I tell mommy now, what will she say? You, bro you broke the trust already. Wait, listen first. Let's do the listening. You want your child to always listen to you. But if you are not listening to your child, it, is be, it will be almost impossible for your child to listen to you. Sometimes mommy and daddy, wait. Do, do the listening and let the child speak. And don't be judgmental in your response. Uh, your child, maybe you are talking, let's talk about those who have grown up children, young adults or teenagers. Your child is 15 or 12. Already growing, you know. Depending on the part of the world you are, boys are already running after the child and saying, but the child comes home and say, mommy, you know, this boy is talking to me in my class and I like the boy. Don't shout on the boy. Don't shout on your daughter. Don't slap the daughter. Don't judge. The, is that what I sent you to school to do? What? No, it doesn't work like that in this generation. Your child is entitled to a feeling. Your job as a parent is to teach the child. This is how it is. It's okay to feel like that. And explain, do your job. Your job why you have to be careful why you have to just know what you're doing why you have to wait why you have to grow up what do don't just judge your child is telling you mommy i'm feeling some of course the hormones are developing the child is growing but in your head i don't know because that's the way you are brought up you're already shouting what is that nonsense what are you telling me come on step down transformer just step down you need to learn how to trust your child, how to know how to pass across the message, how to explain in a very friendship way, with a clear instruction, have a communication without being judgmental. I don't want to take much of our time today. I believe you have learned one or two things today about how to know if you as parents are stressing your child. Your child cannot even say anything. I don't want to tell mommy. Don't forget once this trust is broken, if your child doesn't trust you anymore, that's a big risk. You have already endangered your child. Because now they're looking, they, they will go out to look for who, you know, a confident outside. I can't speak to my mom. My mom is so strict. Now they start talking to their friends in class. The friend will say, don't mind mommy, they're like that. Let's do this. Let's do that. You cost it. You endangered your child. Let your child be your best friend, yet be an authority. I believe you've been able to get one or two things today. I really want to keep to time. We have already used 35 minutes. We're supposed to use 30 minutes. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so pleased to see my mama, Mommy Aki, today joining us today all the way from Nigeria. Thank you so much, Mommy. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And thank you, everyone, for joining me today. Quickly, I'm going to tell you more about next week. Next week is going to be awesome. If you have been missing every of my program, next week is a day that you cannot afford to miss. I'm bringing on a specialist next week, and we are going to be talking about tracking in early childhood. You can say I'm not having any new baby now. I'm not going to be, I'm not having another baby. But it's okay for you to know these things so that you can help somebody. And don't forget you're going to grow to be a grandma one day. You can help your child. It's not because you want to have more babies. But it is good for you to have this understanding. So I'm bringing an OT specialist next week, Saturday. So please be there. One o'clock, GMT plus three. Please invite others. Let's be there. Mommy Pat, thank you for joining today. God bless you. Another of my mama is here. Mommy Pat, a little timid. Thank you, Mommy, for joining. God bless you. God bless you. So next week is going to be awesome. It's a time that you can't afford to miss. How to track. Tracking is key. Tracking is key. If there's something that's helped me over the time, it's tracking my children from day one. In fact, in during pregnancy, I have a, a comprehensive video on that, little bit on YouTube. But this time around, we are going to be going in debt. We are going to be going in debt. So don't miss this class because uh, this is a very important one. And we might not have a free section of such a class anymore. 
we might not have a free section of such a class anymore don't forget i mentioned that some of our videos advanced courses is going to be available soon on some website that you can purchase so take all the advantage that you can take now not for you alone for people around you for when you become a grandpa or grandma please let's learn you want to change the world you want to change the world it's not by mouth it's by doing your part in your house it's by doing your part the world is already corrupt it will take a lot of work and god himself to change it but when you do your part in your house and i do my part then these things coming together we are networking maybe the world will be a better place Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for always looking out for this small, small girl. Thank you for listening to me. Don't forget we are all learning together. Parenting must be intentional. Parenting must be purposeful. It must be a clear vision, and you have to carry this vision jealously. This vision must be carried jealously with your full intentionality and with God on your side, you will have testimony. And you are going to see your growing glory tomorrow and say, hmm. Pat yourself at the back. I have done well. See what the Lord has done. Thank you everybody for joining me today. God bless you. God bless you. I love you all. See you next week. Don't miss next week. Same time. See you next week. God bless you. God bless you. I love you. I love you. Love you. Love you. Mwah.